and welcome to your Go Market update for today, Friday the 12th of August with Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets. And let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, US equities were mixed overnight. The Dow and the S&P 500 were near neutral. Tech underperformed, so the Nasdaq was down. As markets took a little bit of a break from the recent up move we've seen. And this was despite some encouraging US PPI numbers, which came in softer than expected, which essentially is good news for the market. US futures are fairly neutral in Asian sessions, slightly to the upside as we record this. Asian indices are mixed. The Nikkei is playing catch-up after Japan was on holiday yesterday. Outside of that, the other indices are trading to the downside. The ASX is around about 0.5% at this stage. European futures are also suggesting a slightly softer open. On the FX front, the US dollar index cling on to support at six weeks lows. It is slightly higher in Asia today, which is helping the course to some degree. Gold really isn't moving very far at all. It is still around that key 1800 level. We did see some buying coming back into orders. We've seen really since the middle of the week. So it is retesting $100 on the Brent crude CFD contract. It's just moved back through the 200 EMA in this morning's trading. Copper has been one of the positive stories of the week, and that's continued higher after breaking that key level at 360 earlier in the week and is continuing to trade at six weeks highs to close the week. Bitcoin is still stuck just under 24,000, just at the top of the trading range it's been in for some time. And on the data front today, not many earnings to report. We've got the UK GDP and UK and Eurozone industrial production due this afternoon. So an important day in that neck of the woods, which may impact on local currencies. Later on tonight, we've got consumer sentiment out of the US. Be interested to see how the markets reposition with it being Friday. And let's have a look at a couple of charts that have caught our eye today. Kiwi Yen caught our eye this morning. You can see that breaks to 85.60, which was previous resistance at the back end of July. And we're now at highs not seen since then. So around about three week highs on this pair. The next key level could be around about 86.07. But we may find if there is some buying pressure comes in, we could move up towards this 86.50 level. So if we look at the hourly chart, you can see there, there's the action in Asia this morning. There was some attempt to break through it during the US session last night, but failed to break. And you can see that positive move in Asia today. At this stage, trading towards the highs of the session, be interesting to see where this goes over the next few hours. On the ASX, a little bit of a down day, uh, but there are some stocks which are outperforming, and one that's certainly worth note is Qantas, which are up to 469. Not quite at yesterday's highs, but certainly up on yesterday's close. If we see a follow through on this, and there does appear to be some buying coming back into travel stocks, then we could see a move up to this 200 EMA, which would represent a 5.4% rise from current price. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.